a number of the um, some of the superlatives um, for you afterwards. Obviously, the big one is uh, Brandon Oliver's 235 yards rushing is the most in, in UB's Mid American Division 1A history. Uh, James Starks had 231 against Toledo in 07. So, that being said, Coach, uh, opening statement, <coughs> questions. I couldn't be more proud of our uh, our entire football program, all of our coaches and our players, uh, to be able to uh, uh, put on the kind of performance uh, that we saw today. And it just really uh, I couldn't be more proud of the way these kids have hung in there all year and uh, to be able to have this kind of game and put it all together, all three phases. You know, it started out in the first play of the game. Uh, Brandon Murray, uh, big time uh, kickoff return, you know, put us into one yard line. And I really knew at that point, you know, that these kids were ready to play. And uh, and certainly from our defensive side of things, that they, they were able to get the, the ball back a number of times and uh, really liked the way our kids responded offensively. But a solid win. Couldn't be more proud uh, to put 50 points on an East Divisional rival team, you know, says a lot about our kids. And now what we have to do is uh, get that to carry over uh, that same energy, that same mindset uh, to be able to play next Friday against Bowling Green. So with that, I'll open up with some questions. Coach, how important is it to you guys to finish strong? Uh, obviously, that's a pressure win today. And, uh, you know, finish the season with two wins next week. Well, you build program one win at a time. And uh, every time you get a W under your belt, you know, it just adds more credibility. Um, you, you know, it allows our kids to understand that that hard work does pay off. And, uh, you know, certainly this was a, you know, we targeted after the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've been, uh, we, haven't, we haven't felt too good after playing the game, you know. And the results uh, today really kind of, you know, gave those kids an opportunity to see that that hard work does pay off. And to see guys like Bo Oliver, who has done so much for our football program to put you know 51 points on the board as the first time since 1992 you know and to see Gil be able to you know close it out you know those are all great things you know Khalil Mack had another great day our defense did special teams Pat Clark our kicker true freshman went out there and had a uh, just a um, just a terrific day you know so I'm going to be more proud and to see these kids be able to carry it over to next week that's the key right now. Yeah, what's left to say about about Bowen? I mean, you know, we talked earlier in the week about how he how he wanted to take aim at that record, and the season record, but now he you know, set the game record. You know, he's 273, I think, in his all-purpose yards. Makes the blitz pick up on the one touchdown pass. I think you hit it right on the head. I'm more proud of that protection pickup than it is all those yards. But, you know, it says a lot about our offensive line. You know, really, when you look at it, Bo has been, you know, he's been a great team uh, team player, under, understands the importance of the offensive line. Um, you know, so I'm really pleased to see how well our offensive line has developed uh, from last year to this year. And we only have one guy graduating, Matt Ostrowski. All those kids are coming back. Bo's coming back. Um, you know, like uh, Zordich getting a chance to get in there and doing a nice job for us managing the game. Um, you know, certainly there's uh, things on the defensive side. But Bo inspires us. Every time, you know, what's exciting is just when you call his number, you know, he's got the ball in his hands. You just don't even know what's going to happen. You know, that's how exciting it is. And it's not only him, him running through those holes, but when he lowers his shoulder, I mean, he makes tremendous impact. Uh, and, and it just inspires. It just creates a, a great positive energy on our sidelines, and that's what our kids are excited about, and I couldn't be more proud of Bo to get that record. Uh, Fred Lee had uh, two uh, touchdown receptions today. Can you just talk about a little bit about this game and then just stepping up today. You know, Fred works extremely hard too. You know, here's another young player in our in our program um, that has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of leadership. Um, he's a he's a guy who comes with a lot of energy every day. You know, he's a hardworking young man, and uh, those are the things that pay off. You know, when you have your mind in the right place and you have your heart in the right spot, and you know, you train, you develop, you get those moments, and you capitalize on it. Uh, it says a lot about a guy like Fred Lee, and it's nice to see him step up when you lose a nuts and uh, and you lose TJ. You know, it's nice to have those guys, and, that, and believe me, every single day we keep telling them about the next guy in mentality uh, when a guy goes down and stepping up, and he's been able to do that for us. Coach, uh, Khalil Mack on the defensive side had a strong game for you. How did you feel about his performance today? Yeah, that's the old Khalil I love, you know, and uh, just – 
really uh, nice to see because he had a lot of guys around him setting up some things, and we try to feature him in a lot of different schemes uh, to let him make those plays. And so, you know, he's been able to deliver on that uh, to get a couple sacks and some TFLs and just active, you know, at the point of attack and, you know, really couldn't be more proud to see the way our defense responded and keeping them out of the end zone. There was that one big pass play that, you know, late in the game. But, you know, at the same time, you know, kids were solid. Coach Ains did a great job, you know, as all my coaches did. But Khalil is really a tremendous football player and look forward to seeing him play again next week. Well, you know, we, we talked a long time about that. And, uh, you know, you, you have them in your game plan each and every week. Sometimes it just doesn't work out the way uh, that you, you know, that you think. But uh, today it did. And it uh, couldn't be. And they made some tough catches. Alex Dennison made some, some tough catches. Eric Conacher made some tough catches. The win was a factor. Jimmy Gordon did. Um, Jimmy Gordon not only did a great job um, in terms of his uh, pass receiving, but his uh, blocking, um, you know, coming back on a kickoff return late in the game. I mean, he took some guys out. I mean, he is playing physical and inspired football. Uh, so I really like where we are uh, as a team in terms of bouncing back after a couple tough weeks and to see our kids be able to, uh, to have a kind of day that they had today against Akron. Coach, obviously with the big lead, you're able to work Zordachan for a quarter. Um, do you envision a scenario next week where you might give him a little bit more time? Well, you know, Chaz is our starting quarterback, and I've said uh, all along, you know, we're going to put the, the guys out there and uh, that give us the best opportunity to win, and we need to win this game uh, next Saturday, or next Friday in addition just like today. And, uh, you know, Chaz gives us that best opportunity, and so he's going to start for us. If things go according to the plan, which I don't expect – one game to be the same as the next game. That's we we get 24 hours, enjoy it, you know. But can't carry over points, can't carry over records, can't carry over wins. You know, it's a new week, a new game plan, a new team that comes in here. But the good thing is our kids are in the right spirit and the right frame of mind. And it was nice to get a lot of guys in there today. Uh, not only at Alex Zordish, but on the defensive side too, and at other positions. What was your uh, what was your thinking about how the like leaving Brandon in and as long as you did? Were you thinking that he had some shots at records, or was that a reward for what he's done, or a little bit? Yeah, you know, you know, I've, you know that that kind of came down from the box, and you know, said, hey, you know, he's ten yards away, and uh, we were ready to make a change, and you know, and I said, uh, he said, hey, coach, I want to do something uh, not only for myself but for this program and for the guys up front, and the guys up front were like. Bo, we're, we're there for you. And, and believe me, we fought hard to get it, <laughs> if you saw it, when he went back in there his last series. But they was able to get it, and I couldn't be uh, happier for him in the offensive line. Coach, you, you jump out to a 14-point lead. Can you talk about what it's like to be able to play with that lead? Well, I've been on that. I've been on the other side. You know, you just try to get establish, uh, you know, a, you know, a mindset, setting a tone, and certainly when you're able to uh, uh, get up on a on a team, you know, two scores early, you know, two possessions and two scores. I mean, it just it says a lot. You know, it gives your kids a a, a boost of confidence and excitement, enthusiasm, gets the crowd involved. Uh, I mean, our true blue fans and our kids and our our student section and everybody just to hang in there to see what they saw today. Uh, I couldn't be more proud uh, for everyone to have that opportunity. But yeah, that's a big part of it, and we were able to build on it. Do you have any idea why the confidence factor of this offense is so different from home versus road? I mean, you look at the numbers you guys have put up here. Yeah. Well, and that's that's something that uh, you know you know you have it in you. You need to carry it on on the road. That's what you know we talk about winning at home. You're a bowl team. Certainly, we should always uh, protect our turf. And that's who we are, and that's who we're going to become, and and we'll continue developing as being a, a team that plays at home. Uh, but you have to a championship team has to do it on the road. And we were, haven't been able to do it, um, you know, which always disappoints you. And, uh, you know, certainly that's something that we got to address and our kids have to. You know, we, we, we go through a basic routine, you know, whether you're at home or at, on the road. And, and you want to keep it as consistent as possible. The messaging and the process is the same. Uh, but, you know, certainly, uh, you know, I don't really have any specific answers why we weren't able to do it on the road and we've been able to do it at home. Uh, but that's certainly got to change in order for us to be a championship football team. And we'll do that. We can't do that this year, but we can certainly look at it and address a lot of things that we uh, that we saw on the road.
because we have to be a better road team um, in the future. But uh, we got one home game to, to really uh, you know, build on where we are with our football program.